Uh, today we are going to see. So we are on the download page of SQL Developer, and we are downloading Oracle SQL Developer 4.0.3. <coughs> And uh, as you know how to download it, if you have an account, you need an account on oracle.com oracle's website and uh, you accept the license and from here I have downloaded, <coughs> as I am installing it on Windows 64 bit, so I have downloaded this Windows 32 64 bit installation with the installation notes, uh, this one, which is 226 MB. You can also download if you don't have uh, Java um, JDK 7 on your computer uh, installed on your machine. You can download this one, on, which is 311 MB. Uh, as I have, uh, my Java is installed in my <coughs> computer, so I don't, I don't require this one. I, so I have downloaded this one. So after downloading, uh, let us go to the. <coughs> location where I, have, where I have downloaded the software it's a zip file and uh, to remember it will tell you specifically that this this skill developer does not need any it is not an installer or any, there is no setup to install just to download it and use it it is a type of portable software compatible mode which is uh, just downloading and install using it so here it is the just a moment as you can see the here is uh, the skill developer 4.0.3.64.84 no GRE as I have downloaded without the JDK option so extract this one and after extracting you will get a folder like this if you extract his uh, download uh, extract as extract here so this is the folder SQL developer so when you open it you'll find a lot of contents inside it so this you see there is no installer there is one application called SQL developer so what I will do I will make a, make a shortcut of this um, on my desktop desktop create shortcut so I'll close this one and this is now I'll open this one Just remember one thing that uh, when you will first time open this, uh, since I have already opened it, so when you first time you will open it, uh, it will, if you have uh, the JDK, if your JDK version is greater than 7, I mean whether if it is 8, JDK 8, or Java version 8, so it will uh, give a message of compatibility. See, you are attempting to run Java 1.8.0.20. So here is the configuration of the JDK version path. So it is recommending support with a minimum Java version of 4 and a maximum version of less than 1.8. So skip this, you can skip this message next time and it will say you will continue anyway, I will continue and I will check whether it is working, it is, uh, it will work. So I didn't find any problem with the uh, compatibility with Java version in 8 is a version 8 so I'll come back after the loading is complete it will take some time depending on how much memory you have on your machine so uh, while it is loading let us give you some information about us. my Oracle database is uh, located in my uh, VMware Workstation 8.0 and uh, it is Oracle 12C release 1 and this is the listener as, as you can see it is version 12.1.0.2.0 and it is located in U01 APP Oracle product 12.1.0 DB home network admin the DNS listener is inside this now <coughs> Uh, if you see, uh, let us give you some 
other uh, information like uh, host is one uh, as i have mentioned it is my uh, <coughs> guest ip which is 192.168.0.101 port is 1521 because we require this information while we <coughs> are connecting to the um, connecting to the oracle database protocol is tcp and let us wait for the loading it's uh, taking much of time after that we will connect to i will show you a different mode of connection like i will show you how to connect with the um, oracle uh, service name i will show you how to connect with uh, exporting settings and importing the settings and connecting to it and also i will show you with uh, how to connect uh, probably I can show you. I don't. Uh, I'm not sure about the third one. That is uh, whether to we can connect without the TNS names or a file. So let us first uh, make a connection. Just. Uh, So directly click on the plus sign. So this interface where uh, I'm just giving the name as RHL or a call or a connection. Okay. So username is uh, system. Password is also system in small case because uh, 12 say is case sensitive uh, regarding username and password you can also save the password this, uh, this is an optional checkbox if you want to reconnect next time you don't have to provide the pass um, password it will be al already saved in the uh, SQL developer will save it in its configuration host name is I'll provide as is as I told you it is IP 192.168.0.109 and port is the same uh, service name I'll provide the service name which is ORCL.local domain uh, if you have confusion, I can show you here as I have shown you here. Here, see, you will find uh, in the configuration file there is a service name. Okay, if it is not here, let us do something else. Cat dollar oracle home. Let us see. Okay, so we go. Then Okay, network admin pwd now we see cat uh, what to say ts names dot aura so you can see there is a this is to say this is service name the service name is ORCL dot local domain so I'm using my server side uh, configuration where the service name is ORCL dot local domain so I've just used this one here so now I'm going to test it it's success so let us connect to it Okay, so it is soon connected. It takes some time to open. But see, uh, it is. everything so this is the 
you are working in the worksheet so you can write all your SQL code write your procedures functions everything in, in this uh, window so this is uh, the connection uh, simple making simple connections with So uh, this is select start from tab. So I'll just close this connection, or uh, rather say I'll just delete this connection. I'll ex uh, first export the connection. First, let uh, disconnect it. Now we will just uh, now first let us see how to export the connection. Uh, this is the export window. Uh, first, uh, you select your connection. You have to, right now, I've created a connection REL or a con. So this is a size, slight spelling mistake. So O is missing. Never mind. So first, let us. I'll select this one. Click on next. I'll give a file name. Say last. First, let us browse and specify the location for the file where I will save the file. Suppose we need uh, ORA export, ORA export.xml and save it on the desktop. So click on next. Okay, 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 okay. Just uh, it's telling not a valid export part. So let let us export it here. What I export or XML, this is on roaming XQL developer. Save next. Okay, it's not uh, giving me SQL history, so. Okay, there's a bit confusion. What happened that I have uh, just it's a bit on the desktop, that doesn't matter. The file type is given X, uh, XML. So, what uh, Oracle uh, wants you to give the whole file name with the extension name. Uh, as usually we do, for file type is mentioned, we don't mention the extension name, but here the Oracle uh, SQL developer is asking you to also give the extension name. So it's XML. Since first time it's not getting the XML extension, so it is not allowing you. Encrypt all password with a key. I'm not interested right now. Remove all password for the export connection. So you can, let us try this one. So giving your password as one. Verify key. This is for your security. If you export uh, the connection when service the password, no, anyone cannot import it and connect to the database. So finish it. So now let us drop this one. Okay. Delete this connection. And clicking on it and right click and import connection. So let us go move to the desktop and ORA export.xml. Let us select it. Go to next. Encryption key, as you have mentioned, it is one. I have given the password one. You can provi provide your own password. Next. Now see, the, it, is came, it came here. I have dropped the connection, deleted the connection. But it, since it is in the configuration file, it is here. I click on next. Uh, it's telling if, if it is al if or already exists because if I, if I haven't been deleted it, so then you need it uh, the option as replace. Otherwise, you can also rename it and give it give it a new name. So source is this one. Password restore, replicate, replace, finish. So it is here. Now 
you don't need to provide anything uh, the connection string all the ip address you just need to provide your password database password bus and now you can connect it let's see it is loading <coughs> So it is loaded. Now let us try for the third one that is uh, connecting through the TNS names. Uh, I don't know how whether it will work here. So this is my first time attempt. I haven't attempted such thing before. As I have tried it in SQL developer, in SQL developer or Oracle for Toad, but this is first time I'll try it in SQL developer and hope let us see whether we will succeed or not. So let us close this connection. And make a new connection. Suppose it without DNS names. It's the same system. Okay, uh, I don't think this will work because SQL developer always directly interact with the database. It does not work with any client side. So let us try it and open the DNS names ORA file. So, uh, native client TNS description is not working here because as it is uh, always used in Java theme client. So, we will try another connection mode that is, uh, we will go to the advanced stage and just uh, have the JSP connection here connecting to Oracle Database DFC. So, this is the JDBC, as you can see, J the connection string is JDBC Oracle theme 192, which is the IP address, and this is the this ID so just connect and test it it succeeded now if you do local domain what will happen okay it's not working because uh, it is using the SID not the service name the service name is ORCL.local domain so since it is using the SID so I'll connect this one with this uh, and again check out whether it's working so let us know it's loaded very fast okay normal connection is takes a bit time but this already the JDBC thin client is taking very short time So uh, you can I just I'll just give you this uh, connection string in my uh, video section. You can find it from the description or the message uh, message box. So and also give you the uh, Oracle path. Uh, I'll also give you the path for the Oracle SQL developer download. So as I've shown you three mode of connection, first one is normal connection, second one is uh, connecting through the XML configuration file which will, which will contain all the information and third one is connection, connecting with the connection string which uses the JDBC thin client uh, which you will find uh, uh, through there is you know, Oracle 12C actually uh, consists of its own JDBC jar files which is a binary file contain, containing the driver or a thin client driver but prior to LC you have to download OJDBC jar files from different locations you find on the internet to search for it so that's an about connecting SQL developer uh, Oracle database through SQL developer I hope you like this video please do like press like button if you like the video or you can sub also subscribe to my channel SCBHR1176 Thank you very much. Have a good day.